One in eight couples experience infertility. It's a silent struggle for many, including our very own Jenna Zipton. You see her smiling every morning on Virginia Today, but what you haven't seen is her heartbreaking journey to have a baby that took years. Tonight, she's sharing her emotional story. Can mommy have a block? Can you give mommy a block? Ah! Playing with my daughter is the highlight of my day. Can I have another one? Ah! But these moments were years in the making. We started going to see a fertility specialist and the very first appointment within two minutes, he said, you probably have endometriosis. Most women who have it don't know and most obstetrician gynecologists don't recognize that their patients have it. That's my doctor, Chris Williams, who's the Reproductive Medicine and Surgery Center of Virginia medical director. Endometriosis is staged from one to four and you were a four. So that created a lot of inflammation in your pelvis. Depending on the case, many women will come here having surgery before they can continue on their journey of trying to have a baby. The problem with endometriosis is it's a lot more common than we even think because there's no way to diagnose it definitively without a laparoscopy or some other surgical procedure where you look inside. After surgery to clear out some of the problems of endometriosis, I had a short window to try and get pregnant. It was tough. It was very tough. Um, as a guy, you like to be able to help and, and fix things, you know, when you're the husband. But in this situation, you just kind of had to be there. That's my husband, Rob, my rock, who was with me every step of the way. We did IUIs, which are um, a lot easier on your body, a lot less invasive, a lot less medicine. And we did two of those and didn't get pregnant. And it was such a disappointment. And so I think going through that, I realized how bad I really wanted a baby. And I said, okay, yes, let's do IVF. I don't know what this is gonna mean, but let's try. It meant a box full of drugs costing thousands of dollars and lessons on how to use the medicine. And do we need to like mix those together at all? It took four needles to do the injections every night. It was tough to sit back and watch you go through everything. We just left our first appointment in Charlottesville since we started this. This is day eight. Day eight. Day yes. eight. And um, everything is going smoothly, but um, I'm developing a little slowly. So that means more days of medicine. And more shots. I tried to remain upbeat through all the blood draws, tests, and what the drugs were doing to my body. But some days were hard. There was one time where I was in the middle of a newscast. It was 6.30 in the morning. I'm supposed to be smiling and happy and getting everyone ready to start their day. And all I wanted to do was cry. I mean, it was, it was hard, but I just kept reminding myself, it's going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. Oh my God, it's positive. As soon as I put it on the counter, I started seeing a positive. And I was like, don't, don't get excited. <laughs> because I was like, okay, you have to wait the time. Don't get too excited yet. So, um, you know, the time went up and it was a big positive. And it was just, I mean, amazing. Rob didn't believe it. So he said, take, take another test. <laughs> We are doing our second pregnancy test. This time we got a positive. Which so is why can... we look like this. Yeah. <laughs> it was very emotional. Um, I couldn't believe it at first. You know, I was uh, very cautious about it. And um, so I made you take a test again, just to be sure. You know, I didn't want to get all excited and after the second test, I believed it, and it was just uh, an amazing moment. That was positive, too! Oh, my God, it's really happening. All the doctor's appointments after that were fun, hearing her heartbeat for the first time, getting to see her grow, finally getting to meet her. And that moment was just amazing when, you know, they give you your baby, and you're looking down, and you're just like, she's here.
Now, Jenna wrote more about her experience, including the highs and the lows, and you can find that on our website. Just log on to WSLS.com. It's quite a story. We've also posted resources as well as shared experiences from other local couples. All week at 6, Jenna will share other stories about infertility, including mail factor, egg banking, and the new test that's making it possible for older couples to have children. I had a